Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Believe it or not, it is Saturday. I'm going to upload this vlog and watch me. This vlog is going to be under 10 minutes. I just finished my workout. My teeth always feel funny after my workout. It's very easy to chug the water you need. Probably the last two weeks or so, I realized I was really bad on my water. Anyway, here's the thing. My new goal, I'm applying some of these principles that I've been rereading in Jack Canfield's book, The Success Principles, which is one of the best books ever, um, for personal, professional, whatever, to apply in, in everything you do. Honestly, that book alone, that book, The Success Principles, and also Carol Rittberger's book, What Color Is Your Personality? Not what color is your parachute, the one about getting a job. This is specifically about figuring out your personality type. It might sound hokey to you, and I thought the same thing. It ha I mean, it fundamentally helped me change everything. It helped me see myself in a different way, see my strengths, see my weaknesses, um, and recognize it just, it, it, it changes the way you see yourself so that you can really make improvements. Um, changed my life, honest to God, because if I, I wouldn't have founded this company, I wouldn't have quit my job, I wouldn't have done all the things that I'm doing, I wouldn't be able to be as productive and much more effective in everything, in business and personal, in my fitness life, um, if it weren't for reading that book. I recommend it to everybody. Anyway, um, so one of the things that I'm going to be doing with my blog and my vlogs, I realized that I've been doing the same thing. I've done with business in not chunking it down. And that's a chapter in that book in um, Success Principles is, is chunk it down, which is really essentially taking, you know, big goals. If you have everything like in this big, if you saw my whiteboard in my office, you, you'd understand what I'm talking about. So you can have everything up on a, on a big whiteboard, whatever it is, your weight loss, stuff that you have to do for the office, you know, anything that you have to do at your house. Okay, and you can kind of put it all up on a big whiteboard and go, oh crap, how the hell am I gonna get all that? Where do I start? I don't even know where to start. Well, it's pretty simple. I mean, this is not rocket science, but a lot of us don't do this. I certainly haven't done it, and I haven't done it with my videos and my blog. I, I tend to still have that tendency to, remember I talked about this, think, oh, it's such a big deal. It's such a big deal to sit down and write my blogs. It's such a big deal to shoot the video, upload it, whatever. A lot of that, of course, is going to change with this new Samsung video camera deal that I got. But what I'm going to do from now on, all of my vlogs, I'm going to shoot every day, blog every day. I've said this before, but I'm going to do it now. And I'm going to stick to a theme. I'm actually, so today I've already written down three different, probably four different themes. And I'm only talking about one at a time. And then I'm going to zip it and move on. That way you guys get more condensed stuff, because I think I tend to get so excited. So many of you are writing me about the changes that I've made and, and you know what I recommend, and how I went through it, and I go through so many of them because I start talking about it in a video, and then it's just kind of a lot. So I'm going to condense them and keep it to one, one little point. So I just finished my workout. I just did um, <laughs> Turbo Fire, which was awesome. I'm still using my gloves. So this is a, can you see? I'm almost at 500 calories. I did about 60 minutes. Um, and really, I, I can't tell you how glad I am that I bought these. Um, I don't make any money by telling you this, but you really should get yourself, if you're doing, okay, so many of you women are writing me about my arms and my upper body and blah, blah, blah. Okay, A, you need to work out. B, um, you need to do a lot of cardio. C, I also lift heavy. So I'm not saying that you could get results alone like this, but I will tell you this. I work the hell out of my arms with my cardio, um, and adding these is only helping, especially, I mean, there's just a whole lot of punching and um, upper body movement nonstop in both Les Mills, Combat, and Turbo Fire. And I also have to say, I love this little ball that comes with this, because you know, think about, it. I'm gonna get, I'm getting, I'm getting off track. That'll be another video. I'll have a whole video about the ball. <laughs> um, and stuff you can do at the office. Hold on, see how I'm, I'm being, I'm not gonna get off track. Anyway, so today, the thing that I wanted to talk about that popped into my head among these six other topics um, was, and this is more pointed to beginners, 
but it's also pointed to people like us that think, okay, how many of you have ever said this or heard somebody say this? Where you're like, oh, I ate so bad last night, I'm just gonna have to do some extra cardio to tomorrow. Or, um, you know, yeah, we've been on vacation and I did this. Or the, I don't wanna necessarily say it's about vacation, but they'll go, I've been eating so bad at the office this week. It was someone's birthday, ever, or it's, you know, around the holidays. Oh, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'll go for an extra, you know, t I'll run an extra 10 minutes on the treadmill. Okay, you need to really understand how difficult it is. And I don't mean this to discourage you. Once you get your head around this and understand it, you'll realize why losing weight, getting leaner, it is, it is a science to some degree, and it's something you pay attention to. And when you understand this personally, I think you'll get less frustrated because you'll realize I know exactly what I need to pay attention to and it is kind of a my you know I develop my own scientific equation and it'll work don't get frustrated when I tell you that when people say oh you know I went out for happy hour four times this week I'll just run an extra 10 minutes on the treadmill okay I just showed you I just busted my ass for an hour to burn 500 calories now to put that in context, do you know what 500 calories is? That's about one margarita. So if you go out, say, you know, you're kicking butt on your diet or whatever, and you go out for happy hour and you have, now, granted, margaritas are probably one of the most high calorie drinks out there other than like any kind of frozen drink, pina coladas, whatever. If you have one margarita, and then you have, say, all of those fun happy hour things. Say you have potato skins, you had nachos, whatever. Um, your average kit, you know, amazing appetizer at like Outback or whatever is, I mean, like my favorite appetizer at Chili's is boneless buffalo wings. One bowl, which, let me tell you something, I could eat like three of those bowls of boneless buffalo wings is, I believe, 1,200 calories. So if I went out with my friends and had that in addition to what I you know normally eat. So I had that and a margarita. That's about 2000 calories. I just worked out for an hour to burn 500, okay? So what I'm telling you is it's not that simple to say I'll walk an extra, you know, 5 minutes or you know, I'll lift a couple of extra weights. The more that you overeat like that, it's not as simple as I'll just do a few extra, you know, um, push-ups or I'll just run whatever. So 500 calories in an hour is not an unreasonable thing. 500 calories can be um, having a banana and a Starbucks. It could be having like a 350 calorie latte and a banana. So, you know, in other words, say you're not thinking of those simple things like your, your Starbucks that you had three times this week. You went out for a Starbucks. That's a thousand calories typically if you get your average drink at Starbucks. So that's a thousand calories. And then you go out for happy hour and whatever and you think, oh, well, I'll just go an extra, you know, when I go to the gym, I'll just go an extra 10 minutes. And so you burn an extra maybe 200 calories, if that. You've, you've really barely, you know, so you've eaten all this extra, you've consumed all this extra, and then maybe you did an extra 10 minutes. So you've basically kind of made it there. You're still gonna gain weight. But when you understand that, that's when, when you get that. For me, that was like the big thing of, of finally going, wait a second, and that's why maybe I had a much better attitude about diving into this, um, you know, diet and, and my training program because I knew I was able to really look back at myself the past two years and go, okay, in my head, I had all of the desire to work out as hard as I want and to eat as right as I want, but I really, really wasn't doing it. So it became more exciting to me to dive in because I know I knew that, holy crap, if I really do this and really pay attention and really calculate everything I'm eating and really make sure that every week I work out, you know, every day of the week, whatever, I'll get results. And guess what, people? Once I started it, and yeah, I was impatient, and yeah, I wanted to happen after five days, and yeah, I was pissed off, and yeah, I wanted to throw in the towel, but I didn't. If you understand that those numbers work and you give it time, it will work. Just don't be don't be misled by how simple it is and don't get it in your head like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna have some Krispy Kreme donuts and then I'll, I'll do a few extra, um, you know, I'll walk from my car to the elevator. That's not gonna cut it. Figure out what you need to do and work backwards. And that, my friends, is an under 10 minute vlog. Bam!